2023 budget has been declared and obviously from the ruling uh, party they are saying that it's a budget for the middle class but the opposition is not happy we have with us bengal finance minister chandrima bhattacharya we will be talking to her uh, chandrima the what is your take on the budget they are saying that it's a middle class budget with so much of uh, exemption in the income tax it seems to be a middle class budget but in actual it's not so because had that been so actually they would have uh, kept their uh, uh, every possible uh, intention to cut down the inflation so that has not been done and a twist has been made there by the honorable um, uh, finance minister central finance minister because this is for the new regime the old regime remains to be same so new regime something has been uh, given and much has been said about it but you mean fact, to say that there is a confusion of course there is a confusion it's not for the old regime she has uh, made a stress on the words new regime i have heard it so it's for the new regime and uh, this seems to be something for the middle class but it's actually not so another question comes in the matter which is very much on in bengal is the pradhan mantri awas yojana 66% increased in their allocation of pradhan mantri awas yojana is a big thing there is a very big difference actually whatever we have found in the earlier years there is a big difference between what is allotted by the central government for a particular scheme and what is being spent actually for that financial year because so far as bengal is concerned this survey on the basis of which uh, the approval has been made in um, december 20, uh, 2022 that is the survey made in 2018 now 5 years have passed at that time they have made some allotment that was the list which was prepared was for 59 lakhs now that was cut down according to the guidelines they had issued so 17 lakhs was cut down then you find the figure to be about 39 lakhs or 37 38 lakhs out of that 11 lakhs 36000 has now been approved so you can imagine that there's a gulf of difference between the approval the real amount spent and the allotted amount and the question comes in uh, you know that there has been a location in a, do you feel that it's a even distribution of projects in all these states or there is a question uh, uh, as far as your opposition is concerned and bengal is concerned of course because you know bjp rule states they are taken to be in some single arena and they are why are you saying this because they say you know they want to they uh, do everything focusing on the vote so seven states are to undergo vote in the future uh, in this year so you see karnataka a special package has been uh, announced why why not for bengal each and every state has a different sort of it's um, um, i mean the package which is needed for that state why not so karnataka because there it will face a election and uh, they are facing problems there therefore so and also as far as the backward classes is concerned there is a huge allocation on them also that's what they are claiming what do you have to say on that i haven't been able to understand what uh, the, there has been huge allocation for the sc st the dalit the backward classes how do you, i do not know because so far as st is concerned it's uh, 15000 15000 crores for 3 years so just to think about the population in the entire india of st so if you uh, compare to that, uh, that what is the alloc allocation 5000 crores per year and that also there will be there will be a difference between the allotment and uh, the actual amount spent and that will also depend upon the state whether it is bjp ruled or whether it is Uh, op uh, opposition rule state especially bengal one last question is overall how do you, what number will you give to this budget and in one sentence how will you describe this budget i have already said this is an anti poor budget our honorable chief minister has al already uh, said about it and uh, number i do not want to give any number because we have found them to be zero everywhere this was finance minister of bengal who says that the budget is absolutely zero and whatever they have allocated there is going to be discrepancy between the bjp and the non bjp states so opposition clearly not happy with the budget this is kamalika sen gupta with ankshuman from kolkata for cnn news 18